Hello, my lovelies! Tiger Lily here, and we are back with more of the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Now to the last episode. I don't know what we're going to be discovering in this next episode, and I think it might be a little gross, even though the graphics are not, you know, super high-tech or anything. It's still going to be yucky because, you know, there was a dead body and a poor dead puppy in the floor. So, just keep that in mind, because I don't want anybody to get all grossed out. I might get a little grossed out, so I'm going to take a drink of water now, so I don't have to through that whole bit, because I, I don't want to be like, no, no, no. Normally, I'm not too bad with blood and guts. It normally doesn't get to me, but for some reason when it's animals, it just, I don't like it. I guess because I imagine, like, Sasha being all injured or something, and it makes me very sad. So, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, there's two dead doggies. What a horrible wound. Oh, are we inspecting this? Size 9. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Is this one of the dudes? Ah. Size 9. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Anything else? What was that? Let's see if the scissors will ha let us do anything. Mmm, doesn't look like that way. Let's try the pocket knife. Just in case. Size 9. Hobnail boots like that. those worn by laborers. Okay. Let's try... Oh, poor puppy. Oh. What a horrible wound. You poor puppy. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed. Mm. Yet the death is recent. Sorry, guys. It's the not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty Let bad. Let's look at our deduction board, Watson. Murders had a poison that causes madness. The dogs. Numerous bite wounds on the dogs' bodies. Bishop tore his aggressive finger off with his teeth. Okay. I think this might be all for the dog. Poor puppy. Oh, dude, you have not had a Please fun time here. The same finger that we found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's. That's the finger that got bit off. Only a dog could inflict so deep a wound, but it appears that the wound was gnawed at afterwards. So the dogs didn't die when he did. What terrible wounds! The dogs must have been rabid. Rabid is the word you're looking for. Rabid. Okay, I don't want to walk over the creatures. The dog's bowl is empty. Oi, oi, oi. Don't walk on the evidence. Can you just... Good grief, Sherlock. Someone wrapped some meat up in this newspaper. The blood is still fresh. Why is there like a branch on Grapes! It? What are they doing Grapes? There? Ew, they're yellow. This is yesterday's newspaper. Someone brought food for the dogs, probably just before the fight broke out. And just after they had been fed, they attacked a man to eat him. Incredible. Maybe the meat that he gave them was bad? So they couldn't eat it? An old photo. It's written to our comrade Jeremy Kurtz from Commando J. Milan, Bloemfontein, 1883. If it was Blunt served as a Bloom Fontaine, wouldn't there be an Ethian? Against his country. Sorry, I interrupted Watson. What's this? A torn piece of a letter. 
Colonel, I have heard that the heads of the Milan Commando do not appreciate your operating methods. Methods they judge are being too expeditious, even cruel. We are defending our land. Our cause is holy and just. We need combatants who are honorable and motivated, not wealth-hungry assassins. There's no room for opportunists. There's no room here for opportunists like you. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know it where that came from. Letter of dismissal. Oh, I'm still missing something on him? What am I missing? I didn't really... This oh, his face. Is shreds. Ew, I didn't notice that before. Decomposed, yet the death is recent. Okay, I think that must be the last thing then. No, there's still more? What? Oh, his hand. It is a dog bite. I can see the tooth marks. Anything else? Looks like that's it. I just want to make sure. I'm not missing anything else. No, I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh. The material on this tray is rather odd. Oh. Small burnt balls. A pipe with a strange smell. A small burner. There can be no doubt. Judging by the material on the tray and the pipe, the man smoked opium. Oh. Opium. I doubt if this man could have made his drug here. He would have needed a real laboratory. I think I know where the laboratory is. The dispensary. There was a lab kit in the morgue. Has to be it. What else could it be? This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has Poor decomposed. Puppies. Yet the death is recent. I'm so sorry. Poor things. The skin was deeply torn. What a horrible wound. The poor puppies. No sixth sense. Didn't miss anything else. I just don't want to miss anything in here that might be ooh, important. A military badge of the 58th Infantry Regiment of Her Majesty and a letter stipulating Kurtz's exclusion from the unit. He served in 1881. At that time, the regiment served in South Africa. Kurtz was in the Boer War. Apparently, our friend Kurtz served in both camps in South Africa and was never a colonel. But that doesn't surprise me. A traitor, deserter, and a false colonel. What a charming gentleman. A newspaper covering the war in South Africa. Kurtz must have been following the war with some interest. The Boer War is abominable, and it still rages. How do you trigger the sixth sense thing again? Stop walking! Jeez! I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Let us look at our deduction board once. Mm. Right, okay. Pipe. Man smoked opium. Dogs. Dogs were fed before the murder. Numerous bites. Numerous bites on dog wounds. Man ill treated his dogs and they turned on him. Used to torture him. Mom. Man fought. Ill treated his dogs and they turned on him. Dogs were hungry. Dogs are poisoned? I don't know how the opium thing fits in. Man was given the pipe that already had a and had a supply of opium. Oh, 
fought savagely against his dogs, I feel like. Fed just before the murder. Dogs were hungry or they were trained to kill a man? Causes madness. They must have been poisoned. I still feel like we're missing something. My deduction chart ah, there we is incomplete, go. Holmes. We are missing an important detail. Let's return to the clinic and ask if our friend might lend us his morgue for two hours. What are you going to do? I'm torn between a nap and a picnic. Oh, I've had enough, Holmes. The next step of our investigation, Watson, leads us inevitably to a post-mortem. As you're well aware, in the instance where a body's vital organs no longer function, every minute is vital. Be quick now and procure the room while I arrange the transport. Very well. I will see you later. Fun. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to cut something open. Where'd he go? Ah, Grant, you are still here. I need to ask a favor from you. What sort of favor, my dear friend? Might I use your morgue for a couple of hours? It concerns an affair of the greatest imp... Use the morgue? Whatever for? Letting you poke your nose in everywhere is one thing, but closing my eyes to I don't know what unsavory practices. No, it's nothing like that. No, it isn't possible, sorry. Grant, listen to me. I... Don't insist. Where do you think you are? Perhaps because you come from the rich area, you think you are entitled to do whatever you like. But here in Whitechapel, it's the real world, you understand? The real world, where we have to take risks. Do you even know what that means? And this shabby health center where I've been stagnating for years, it's a public establishment under my authority, for whatever that's worth. I am responsible for it. Responsible, do you understand? Of course I understand, Grant. Good. I understand, first and foremost, that you are a coward. A coward, I said, sitting on your backside behind a desk for years, complaining about your fate without even trying to change a single thing about it. I won't allow you. And you dare to talk to me about risks. I, who was wounded in Afghanistan while in Her Majesty's service, and who for a great many years has taken part in some of the most dangerous criminal investigations the country has ever known. You tell him, Watson. As for being responsible, as you call it, it begins with doing your job properly, particularly when one is a doctor and caring for the poorest people within our society. I... The real life? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't make me laugh. I am a doctor too, Grant, don't forget. And I'm ashamed of my profession when I see the state of this center. It's not my... So, your disgusting morgue, you are going to allow me to use it, dear friend because I urgently need it for a vitally important affair that is way over your head. And whether it pleases you or not, understood? Mm -hmm. You want to be like that about it? Do whatever you like. I wash my hands of the entire thing. That doesn't surprise me. What a jerk face. Why is Watson friends with that dude? This is a dismal place. Have you ever carried out a post-mortem homes? It requires a great deal of precision. Don't worry, I learn quickly. Hand me a bone saw. Ew, why are we doing this? Go carefully, Holmes, even so. Oh, God. I'm gonna cut this out and just show you what happens afterwards because this is gross. Okay? Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it was still gross. So I had to make two incisions, one in his ribs and one in his gut. And in the rib cage, we pull out some nasty liquid thing with the pipette. And apparently we have to test that now. And then the other thing was uh, in his gut, he'd swallowed a piece of paper that looked like it was from some Chinese, like, the opium den or something. So, yeah. Chemistry material. And smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at Baker Street. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. Oh, it's another one of these. Hold on while I find the right answer. It's gonna take me forever because the other one did. Okay, there we go. Poison, and apparently very virulent. Results of the analysis of the poison that was administered to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. A substance that provokes a heightened aggression close to madness. Substance fatal. In this case, death by cardiac arrest. Ew. Results of the analysis of the poison that was administered to Kurtz. Substance that provokes a heightened aggression close to madness. Considered heightened subject mus muscular strength. Provoked extreme degradation. That's not the word. Degeneration of skin tissue following deep wounds. Substance non-fatal. So they're different. Deduction board time. Is it opium's man mixed poison with the opium and sold it? Poison by a mixture of opium and poison. Man was poisoned by the same poison. Mad because he is an opium addict. Give it a pipe that already had opium in it. Accomplice brought in the pipe. Accomplice brought in the pipe. Poisoned by his accomplices. Aha. Uh -huh. That was a there we most go. instructive post mortem. This man was murdered by his accomplices because of his missing finger. I see. He was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand, as the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger. But how did they manage to disguise the murder? by making it look like a dog attack. The post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we mm. found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage that the victim attacks anything in his path. And in this instance, it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerer's apprentices whose creations are ever evolving. They are attempting to obtain a particular effect and they try out their formulae on human guinea pigs. You're saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it? No, he took it himself voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his opium, knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. It's very true. Very well. We know the reason and At least the in matter, those days. But we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, Holmes? from his stomach. I see. Uh. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. When the man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison, he knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go? I suppose that's true. Lovely. So we're going to the opium den. Great. Thirteen Burner Street. I don't remember how to get there, but okay. Uh, why do I feel like it's probably this way? Burner Street. Ew! Look at all the rats. I explored this a little bit, but I didn't really do a whole lot with it last time. Aha! 
because it's kind of boring because there was nothing happening yet. There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. Oh joy. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome. What can I do for you? One of your regular clients looked within himself to give us your address. He was very helpful. Oh, I understand. Our clients quickly become regulars. Your friend isn't with you? Sadly, no. He is tied up with his dogs. That's one way of putting it. I understand. I do love dogs. Come in and make yourselves at home. Thank you, good sir. The keys to the establishment are all here together. Interesting. Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Poor devil. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Hmm. Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. I saw something there. Uh -huh. Ashes. It's not very clean here. Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. I've heard it three times now. I just don't want to miss anything. I don't understand Chinese. Closed. Hmm. You can't come in here. It's private. Please excuse us, sir. Well, we have searched everywhere apart from two rooms. One of these rooms interests me particularly. You are thinking of the guarded room, aren't you, Holmes? I am indeed. But we should not consider any confrontation with the guard. Let us be discreet and enter the adjoining room. It's locked, and it wouldn't be very discreet if we were to force it. Nevertheless, we do need to get in there. And the manager? Let us find a way of distracting his attention. Okay. We are going to leave that for the next episode. So, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button down below. And yes, sorry, I didn't show you all the yucky bits, but that was really, really gross. It was bad enough having to expect the inspect the dead bodies, so I wasn't about to do uh, cutting them open. Luckily, we didn't have to cut open the dogs, or I probably would have just been like, nope, nope, I'm not even going to look while I'm doing it. I'm just going to click on things and hope for the best. But uh, it was the person, which for me, weirdly, isn't as bad, but whatever. So... If you guys liked the video, hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more of the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. And I will leave the full playlist down here below me so you guys can get caught up with everything that's gone on so far with this mystery. We have been all over the place. This started out with solving some murder in some guy's house or some disappearance of a gemstone in some guy's house and then the necklace that they found was already a fake to begin with and it was stolen by a monkey and now we've ended up in an opium den. This is weird, but it's Sherlock Holmes for you. You never know what's going to happen. So, we shall see what's going to happen in the next episode, yes? So, that being said, this is Tiger Lily. Until next time, my lovelies. Bye!